You know, there's a popular definition to insanity. Uh, oh, come on, man. Man. Oh, brother. How? You want some? Come get some. And even though I died a lot using this build, or trying to put this build together, that's not the definition. Ladies and gentlemen, Militia, we got another build. Now for the build, obviously we're using the backfire. All right, that's the uh, title thumbnail suggests. I was using the Coyote's Mask. Okay, Coyote's Mask, we got critical hit chance, critical hit damage, critical hit damage mod on there. Now the thing about the Coyote's Mask uh, is the talent, Hack Instincts, doing all allies gain a bonus based on the distance of the last enemy you hit. We're gonna be up close most of the time. So we're gonna be getting that 25% critical hit damage that's gonna add to our stack of Umber Initiative, or pieces of Umber Initiative. Chest, gloves, knee pads, holster. This particular build, the holster, it can be swapped out, I'd say. It can be swapped out uh, for a crit hit damage. Uh, to put that, put it up there even more. The backpack, we're using a group of Samba backpack. Okay, hit hit damage, the first piece. We also have a crit hit chance, crit hit damage, another crit hit damage mod on there. The talent that we're using is Unstoppable Force. Killing an enemy increases total weapon damage by 5% for 15 seconds. Stacks up to 5 times. 25% damage. Weapon damage. Okay. The secondary weapon, we're using the Kingbreaker. Now, the only reason that we're using the Kingbreaker is because, well, I kind of like that weapon. And when you use the uh, <clears throat> when you use the Banshee Pulse, it also pulses enemies. So that's pretty good. You can pulse, disorient, fry with the Kingbreaker if you so choose. I thought it'd be kind of fun. The secondary skill we're using the Booster Hive. Booster Hive helps out our reload speed, right? as well as uh, the hazard protection, the bleed that we get from the backfire. Now with the backfire, the talent payment in kind, enemy damage to enemies adds a stack of 1% critical hit damage up to 200 stacks, lasting 10 seconds. On reload, apply a 10 second bleed to yourself, which deals 0.5% armor damage per stack okay this can be lethal it has killed me plenty of times if not used correctly <clears throat> however to use this correctly okay you're gonna have to use the gear set on our initiative correctly in conjunction with the hive if you so choose if you're skilled if you hit all your shots and it doesn't really matter once you hit 200 stacks then you stop bleeding Okay, you only start bleeding again once those stacks wear off and you start shooting again and then, you know, you're gonna have to go through the whole building of the stacks and the bleed that comes with it. Okay, the Umber Initiative, you didn't know, the talent okay, is from the shadows into the light and cover in 10 stacks per second up to 50. Each stack will give 1% critical hit damage increase Okay, and 0.3% RPMs. Buff does not apply while shooting from cover. While out of cover, agents lose two stacks per second at normal speed and one stack per second if sprinting. While out of cover and in combat, in 10 stacks per second up to 50, each stack will give 0.8% armor regen when it is consumed. Stacks consumed, 10 stacks per second only in cover. We're using the chest piece, which increases the max stacks uh, from the shadows from 50 to 100. 
Okay, and stack gain is from 10 to 20. So that's a lot of stacks. Okay, we can do the math. We did the math, we did the test run, the target range, and the results are disgusting. All right, so we're at the target range. Now, letting those stacks get up there, I back off, get out of cover. 252.2% good hit damage, right? Now let's build up the stacks with the backfire. I don't feel like waiting. I remember we're also utilizing the unstoppable force. We're at 200 stacks right now. Okay, 348. Let's get in cover. Let's keep the stacks going. Let's keep the stack up. Let's get our Umber initiative up there. Out of cover. 454.2% crit hit damage. Okay. Remember, we're also using the Coyote's mask. That's also in play. And we're close, right? But our stacks went away. That's okay. It happens. Get the stacks back. I already stopped bleeding. Put that down. Get the stacks back. you think because <laughs> this is nasty now the next scene i'm going to get into the gameplay but if you like the build so far you think it's based off of what you've seen it's, it's pretty viable okay show your support hit them buttons you know what i'm saying you already know what to do two squad Additional hostile contacts. Detected. Neighboring location targeted by hostiles.
supply room access. Unlocked. Thank you. 